Lucy is such an adorable dog. She and Sam look like they could become great friends and maybe puppies. So a play date for the dogs is going great, but the date date with the humans... Hi, hey, hello, my name is Sarah and welcome back to The Sims Pet Stories and specifically Alice and Sam's story. This is the second episode of Alice's story. The first episode we met Alice and her Dalmatian Sam and found out that they are in grave financial difficulties and they are actually being threatened to lose the home that Alice inherited from her grandparents by the absolutely awfully iconic villain Diana DeBoer. So with that being said, I'm super excited to jump back into pet stories and see what drama is going to unfold today. Okay, so chapter three, doggy play date. That's right, I remember now Thomas, who has a crush on our girl Alice, is bringing his dog, was it Lucy? To have a doggy play date. That's totally not going to be a date date for... Thomas and Alice or anything. Sam, please don't dig a hole. I just filled in another hole that you were digging before, Sam. I was just trying to get Alice to paint something so that we could maybe have a little bit more money coming in the house, Sam. I can't remember what time Thomas said he was coming over. Oh, that was weird. Okay, <laughs> literally, oh, Sam, not again. Sam will have to be scolded again. I know, I know, I know. I was already on top of it. It's fine. Um, scold for being filthy. I gave you a bath this morning, Sam. Sam has found yet another way to get himself into trouble. I really must get this dog to learn some obedience. Look, he's nearly at the top of the bar for being filthy, though. All right, please wait. Waking up and having to start my day scolding Sam was really not what I had in mind for my morning. Actually, we didn't do that this morning. We cleaned up the yard a bit because he had dug a hole overnight. But then we gave him a bath and then we had some breakfast and we cleaned up the rest of the house. So it's not like you started your morning scolding him, actually. But anyway, but I suppose it's my fault. I really must get this dog trained. Absolutely, I agree. So what do we do for that? Oh, what is happening? Oh, our sink is broken? When did that happen? Do you have any mechanical skill? You've got one. It's just that, you know, I don't really want to have to spend money on calling for the repairman. It's not like we're Vincent who has millions of Somalians, you know? <gasps> Good boy. He's going to chew with his chew toy. I want to praise him for using his chew toy. Oh, great. Oh, this is part of the story. Oh, great. What else can go wrong today? Now the sink is broken. I'm going to need to call a plumber to fix this. I thought it just randomly broke. Okay, well, stop fixing it, Alice. Sorry. I didn't realize that was part of the story. This is what I mean. I'm scared to do anything because I'm scared it's going to be part of the story and then I'm going to break the game if I do things. Anyway, so goal is my kitchen sink broke. I can't believe my rotten luck. I need to call for repairs before my house floods. Where is our phone? I think there's one in the bedroom. Yes, there is. Okay, no worries. Call for a service. All right, repairman is what we're going to need. Please don't chew the furniture, Sam. Sam! Oh my goodness, I just praised you. Anyway, I'm sorry, but all our plumbers are swamped right now. Maybe try back tomorrow. Oh, are we going to have to wait for Thomas to come over? And Thomas is going to be our saving grace today, maybe? So, I can't believe the plumbers are too busy to fix my faucet. I don't know anything about plumbing. What am I going to do? Well, firstly, you're going to scold your dog for destroying the furniture. Sam! Look, it's my buddy Thomas. Isn't that just so coincidental? Just such a coincidence that he happens to be walking past our house right now. I should greet him. Maybe he can help. I'm sure he can. The manly man, Thomas. <laughs> Okay, that's what you want to do. Let's greet Thomas Jones. So, Thomas has just shown up to the house for our doggy play date. Okay, so he is here for the date. I thought he was just walking past, because where's his dog? Ah, oh, there she is, Lucy. I was right, it is Lucy. But my floor is a mess, and I'm not prepared for his visit yet. I guess I'll have to let him know what's going on. I'm sure he is going to be the absolute perfect gentleman and be completely understanding. And as a matter of fact, he'll be like, hey, let me fix your sink for you. I'm sure that's what's about to happen. Now, Sam, I need you to be really nice to Lucy, okay? I need you to be super duper nice to Lucy. Hi. There we go. <laughs> See, literally me, I'm a whiz with a wrench. Let me at that sink. Okay, thank you, Thomas. 
Thank you. I can't believe it. Thomas is such a great guy. He comes over for a play date for our dogs and ends up fixing my sink for me. I wonder what other surprises he's got up his sleeve. I don't know. See, I hate to do this. If the stories games have told me anything so far, it's to have my suspicious pants on. And we're in a town full of people that are just absolutely nasty. I want to believe that Thomas is a great guy. I'm sure that he is, but I can't help but have my suspicious pants on as well. Anyway, he's gonna go fix our sink. No worries, sick. Okay, how's Sam gonna go with Lucy over here? Oh, okay, she ran away from him. Okay, maybe not puppies if she's gonna run away from him like that. That's totally fine. Anyway, oh, Thomas, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. Also, can I just say as well, I just wish that sometimes real life was The Sims in the fact that you can see that Thomas is thinking about Alice and sometimes, sometimes I just wish I could see that people were thinking about me, you know? <laughs> anyway, totally fine. <laughs> You fixed my sink. Thank you so much. Once the kitchen is clean, we can go out and play with the dogs. Well, luckily for me, Alice, I already got you pretty much started on that. It's actually clean. <laughs> so the kitchen looks clean to me. It does because I already got you onto that. Let's go outside and play with the dogs. I should play fetch with Lucy to introduce myself to her. Okay, no worries. Lucy is such an adorable dog. She and Sam look like they could become great friends and maybe puppies. I haven't seen Sam this happy in a long time. I should play fetch with Lucy. Well, let's catch up with them. What are they doing? The doggos. Oh, look. Oh, cute. They're roughhousing together. I love that. Okay. So how do we do this? Play fetch. Let's play fetch with Lucy. Also, I can hear that Alice is just cheering in the background. She's like, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. <coughs> oh, a girl. Oh, she's so clever. Ma Beautiful. So the next goal. This play date was a great idea. Our dogs seem to get along great. Thomas has been sweet and Lucy is adorable. Maybe she can help Sam become a better dog. Well, maybe she can. I don't know. Maybe she can be a positive influence. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Thomas is inside watching the TV because I heard the TV turn on. So a play date for the dogs is going great, but the date date with the humans could be going better. Anyway, totally fine. <laughs> now it looks like Sam's being aggressive. Sam, you're really great with dogs. Oh, I almost forgot. I had this large dog training contraption burning a hole in my pocket this whole time. Literally in your pocket, like I was saying that freaking Amaya had the freaking A-frame in her pocket last time. You literally had this in your pocket the whole time. You should use to train Sam for the show. Thank you. Which one is it, I wonder? That's better, Sam. Thank you for being not hostile towards Lucy. Which one did we get, though? Oh, we got the teeter-totter. We call it a seesaw in Australia, so it's a bit funny that they call it a teeter-totter. Anyway, a seesaw. <laughs> All right, I should go. Okay, I have to get to work in a bit. Right, no worries. Bye, Alice. Thanks for the doggy date. Thank you for fixing my sink and for the teeter-totter. I should find a place for this teeter-totter and then get Sam to use it successfully. Well, I've already found a place for it. Whether Sam can use it successfully, though, is going to be the question. So, Thomas was kind enough to give me this training equipment so that Sam and I can practice for the dog show. No worries. Well, let's, let's do that. Train Sam. Let's see how we go with this one. This one's kind of similar to the A-frame, except it's going to move underneath you. But you can do it, Sam. I believe in you. You're a clever boy. You're, you're a clever boy in training. <laughs> oh, he hates it. Oh, he hates it. Oh, he's really not a fan of it. I feel bad. Sam, I'm really sorry. But we've got to do it, my guy. We need this money. <laughs> Give it a try, my guy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. You good job, though. That was a good first attempt of actually going on it because that would be really scary, Sam. I totally understand. You're a clever boy. We're going to give it another go, okay? You can do it, my guy. Yes. Okay, it's all right. We're going to keep going until you get it because the goal wants us to do it until you get it. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Oh, that's good, though. That's fantastic. Oh, Sam. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, you're clever. I mean, I love that he laid down on it. It's like that was showing that he was really comfortable with it in the end. Oh, 
But that is chapter three sorted. So, well, at least Sam didn't destroy everything today because the sink decided to break on its own. Yeah, that was really random. Hey, Thomas was nice enough to come over and fix a bunch of things for me. A bunch of things? It was just the sink. Anyway, he also brought his dog Lucy with him. So Sam got to burn up some energy playing with her, I hope. It's time to get some much needed rest and dream of a better day tomorrow. We got Thomas fixing the sink. We got playing fetch with Lucy. We got a present from Thomas, thank you. And then we got, yes, the teeter totter. Fantastic. So what do we have? We've got the goal, which is going to be me time. So that is going to be the end of the storyline for chapter three. So I'll see you probably tomorrow when chapter four starts. The following day. Okay, chapter four, a day in the life. I should go to the shopping center today and pick up a magazine on dog training. I need every advantage I can get to beat Diana and keep my house. And that's a good point, actually, because after the story ended yesterday, I did train Sam once again on the A-frame and it came up with a message saying, I don't know enough to train Sam anymore. So clearly we need to learn some more about training dogs. I am convinced at this point that Sam still destroying furniture has to be a part of the story because every time I scold him for destroying the furniture or I praise him for using his chew toy, uh, that bar is full. That green bar is full and it can't go up any higher, but it doesn't actually say, yeah, he's learned not to chew the furniture anymore. So I'm convinced that it's part of the story at this point, which makes me sad because then it's like, do I keep scolding him and then praising him or do I not? I don't know what to do anyway. I need to call a taxi so I can get to the shopping center. Thank you. No worries. So now the goal has changed. I need a dog training magazine and some new clothes and some new clothes. Well, luckily we sold another painting yesterday. So we've got a little bit more money. We got 1,935 simoleons. So anyway, today we can leave Sam at home. The goal told me that we don't need Sam so we can leave Sam at home. We're just going to take Alice and we're going to hope that when we get back that Sam has not in fact trashed the house. All right, so we've got to go to the Vista Strip Mall. Welcome to the Vista Strip Mall. Here you can shop for clothes, groceries, and video games, or lounge in one of our outdoor patio areas, and then browse at your leisure. No worries, let's go. It doesn't look like Diana DeBoer owns this one. Oh, behave yourself, Sam. I'll be back soon. He's not going to behave himself, is he? <laughs> I just have a feeling that that is setting us up for him not behaving himself. Sam, I will be back, okay? Although I've just said that it doesn't look like Diana DeBoer owns this place, but maybe she'll just be here anyway. Who knows? You just never know. <laughs> Gotta be prepared for anything with the stories games. All right, here we are. Wow, look at the roof on this place. Oh, we got a cutscene. Well, I should have held my tongue, shouldn't I? Because Diana DeBoer doesn't own this place yet, but it looks like she very well soon will own this place if English is a language that I can speak. Anyway, oh well, I can't let that bother me. I need to find a good dog training magazine for Sam. I'm liking these cutscenes as this story elements. That's really cool. So the goal is I could use some help training Sam. I should buy a dog magazine. Mutt Monthly is the Doggy Digest, the Canine Quarterly, the Puppy Paper, the Rover Review. Call it what you will, but no dog magazine has more information that pet owners want them Mutt Monthly. Looking for a more nutritious pet food? Want to know the latest training techniques? Mutt Monthly is your only source. Well, yes, let's buy that one. Thank you very much. Oh my god, look at this place! It's a rave in here, apparently. Jeez! Anyway, we bought our magazine. Perfect. I found a magazine with just the information I needed. Yes, you did. So... Please wait. Phew, I'm tired. I need to take a break from all this shopping. Maybe we'll go sit outside in the patio chairs then? Oh, I didn't even realize Thomas is here. Oh, Alice, hello. My suspicious pants are on. Thomas, hi, what are you doing here? My question exactly. I needed to find some books and get some other shopping done. I was planning on calling you later, were you? Well, here I am right now. So say what you were going to say. 
to my face. I needed to pick up some things as well. Are you hungry? I haven't eaten yet and I'm starving. Well, actually, you have. I did give you breakfast this morning. You're not starving. You're getting a bit peckish though, so that's fine. We could eat. <laughs> Whoa, Thomas is very excited about that, apparently. He's like running for a second there. He's like, all right, let's go. I could eat, he says. I think he might be a little bit more excited than that anyway. Well, let's go to the Somalian diner. I understand the food there is wonderful and it's not owned by Diana DeBoer. He's running. Why are you running? He's way more excited than he's letting on. Like, I know you've got a crush, my guy, but like, ease up a little bit. Be a little bit more casual. <laughs> Somalian diner is where we're going, thank you. At this point, Thomas is kind of feeling like a puppy, but in human form. <laughs> well, here we are, Thomas. This was a good idea. I love this place, Alice. Aw, lovely. Okay, well, we're being seated in a booth. Are we going to be sitting next to each other in the booth? How nice is this? So let's order for all. Maybe we'll have... I mean, it's a diner. At diners, you get burgers. That's just what you do. So let's get hamburgers then. Beautiful. Here we go. Food time. Why is this music that's playing in my ears right now? I don't know. But anyway, Alice, I bought a toy for Sam while I was in the pet store. I needed to pick something up for Lucy and I saw the perfect chew toy for him. Maybe I wasn't supposed to buy a chew toy yet for Sam. Maybe I was supposed to wait for Thomas to give me the chew toy and then maybe now he'll be able to learn not to destroy the furniture. Oh, Thomas, you shouldn't have. I'm sure Sam will love it. Still not sure what this music is that's playing in my ears. I should really get going. I have a few things to do at home before I go to work. My boss doesn't tolerate me being late. No worries. So he works nights, clearly, because it is five o'clock at night currently. And it was around the similar time yesterday when he left our house. So clearly he works nights. That's fine. Okay, well, all right. I'll see you later, Thomas. Thanks again for the dog toy. I know Sam will really sink his teeth into it. He will. And then we'll praise him for it because he's not chewing the furniture. <laughs> what a nice guy she's thinking. Ah, oh, that's key. Yet. I've got to hurry home. I have a feeling Sam's left a surprise for me there. I do too. I totally do too. Time to go home. Sam has probably gotten himself into a bit of trouble during my absence. All right, let's go home then and find out what awaits us. The mess, the nightmare. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, she's worried. Oh, so he... So what? That's not a big deal. Okay, yes, I know that's annoying. I feel bad, though. Like... We left him alone for ages. Of course he's going to go inside. Like, seriously? And considering it's only one little bit of scrap on the floor, I was expecting way worse. Alice, get your anger under control. That's not fair. We were gone for hours. Of course he's going to go inside. I can just already see we're going to have to scold Sam. And it makes me angry. I'm angry about it. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. I need to clean up this mess. Well, you've already cleaned up the puddle from when he went inside, but you've just got to clean up the, the stuff here and there. Are we going to scold? him for destroying the furniture though I feel like I should do that first and I'll show you what I mean about this bar this bar that is full to the top green it cannot go up anymore and he doesn't learn because the story isn't ready for him to learn yet and it makes me feel really bad <laughs> a few moments later see Alice it really wasn't that hard to clean up that mess seriously it took you what two seconds I can finally read this pet magazine and see if there are any special articles on training. Okay, let's do that then. Good boy for using the chew toy. Thank you. But there's no point me praising you because you're not going to learn it. Anyway, this special edition of Mutt Monthly is dedicated to taking you step by step through everything a professional dog trainer will experience at the SimCity Dog Show. Let's first take a look at what an example dog show might look like. Oh, we're actually going? Okay, so it's actually going to guide us through 
doing a dog show. Welcome to the Mutt Monthly Dog Show Guide. You can leave this guide at any time by clicking on one of your, our magazines and selecting return, or you can use the phone and call a taxi to take you back home. Well, I'm going to do it. We're here and I've never done a dog show before, so I'm going to do it. The objective of the dog show is to achieve the highest possible score by sending your dog over or through every object in the shortest amount of time. The three most important parts of any dog show are the judge, the agility course, and the dog. Okay, well, here's our judge, Judgy McJudgerson over here. His name is Corbin. Um, our dog, we know Sam. We're very well acquainted with Sam. Um, and then this is the course. It's only got two obstacles. The judge monitors all the events at the dog show and is the final hurdle between you and the coveted golden fire hydrant. Is that what the trophy is? A golden fire hydrant? I love that. And don't forget about the cash prize of 120,000 simoleons. I freaking knew that the cash prize would be exactly 120,000 simoleons. To let the judge know you have arrived, you need to click on the judge and select to check in. Check in. Let's do it then. Thank you for checking in, Ms. Witt. Please remain at the park and listen closely for me to call your name. Okay. Next up is Sam the Dalmatian, handled by Alice Witt. It's your turn. When you are ready, click on the judge and select start show for Sam. We're just going to get Sam over here first. Start show for Sam. Get Sam into position at the start zone to start the countdown. Okay, no worries. The white box on the ground is the starting line. That's what I thought. Sam must be in the proper position in order to begin. Click on the starting line and select get Sam into position. Okay. The dog show scoreboard displays how much time you have left to finish the course as well as your agility score. All of a sudden, I'm scared about this freaking dog show. Each agility object you complete adds to your agility score. You will also be awarded bonus points depending on how quickly you complete the course. <laughs> if you have previously, okay, right. So, okay, well, we'll command Sam to perform. Because time is ticking. Good boy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy. We got 50 points for that one. I'm just having a look, keeping an eye on this clock. I mean, we've got plenty of time to do it. We've got 16 minutes, apparently. Here you can see your score for the A-frame. Notice it has been added to your agility score on the dog show scoreboard. I, I see that. No worries. Okay. It is important to find a fast path through the agility course since this will award you the maximum time bonus. Click on the teeter-totter. I'm clicking on the teeter-tottering, selecting Command Sam to perform. Once he gets more comfortable, I'm expecting he's just going to run over that entire thing. <laughs> so there we go. We just got another 50 points for that. So now that you've gone through all of the objects on this course, you are ready to finish the dog show. You cannot finish until every agility object has been attempted or your time expires. To let the judge know you are done, click on the check it finish line and select finish show. All right. Well, we finished the show. Hell yes, yeah, Sam. We just completed our first dog show. You can now see your time bonus and total score on the dog show scoreboard. Well, I can't because it's gone. <laughs> In in order to have a chance at winning the dog show, you'll have to train your dog on the various agility objects. If you want to get the best possible score, don't forget to take extra care of your dog before you perform. The judge will take into consideration various other factors in determining your score, probably like hygiene and energy as well, probably. We all know that a tired dog is going to have a hard time getting a good score and judges don't like stinky dogs either. Literally, I just said those two exact things. <laughs> Thank you for reading this special edition of Mutt Monthly. We here at Mutt Monthly wish you luck in your next show. Bow wow. I love that. I like that that was a little mini tutorial as well because like I was saying at the very beginning of this playthrough, I've never done like dog shows before and I sort of was hoping that it was just going to be like we just press a button and then it happens automatically but I should have known that that would not be the case and I'm actually going to have to do the work for it and that makes me scared. It reminds me of throwing the party for Riley in Life Stories and I was terrified. So I'm expecting that that might be the end of the gameplay for this chapter now that we've done the training it's getting late at night is all it's all i'm thinking that was informative i should be all set to start training sam for the show tomorrow wait no hold on surely she's saying that she's ready to start training sam tomorrow for the upcoming show not that the show is tomorrow surely <laughs> There we go. I know I shouldn't think about shopping at a time like this, but I decided to go to the Vista Strip Mall today and get a dog training magazine. I ran into Thomas there, so I decided to splurge a little and we ate together. I've never been that good at controlling Sam, but the magazine gave me a few new ideas. And then we're eating with Thomas. And then he's giving us the chew toy. And then Sam, I can't really blame him, but he made a mess at home. And then, of course, we're reading the magazine. 
So with that being said, you guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode of The Sims Pet Stories after the ending of Chapter 4 there. I was expecting a little bit more drama today, but I suspect that the drama will be coming. With that being said, I am excited for the next episode to maybe have a little bit more drama. Diana DeBoer clearly has taken over this entire town. I still can't wait to put her in her place. Anyway, if you would like to see more of me and any more of The Sims Pet Stories or any other Sims content that I've got coming your way, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Again, please, no spoilers as always because I haven't played this story before. I have no idea what's coming. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!